But now state agencies and lawmakers are looking to the future and proposals that will hopefully avoid another internet catastrophe. Jake Melder has the latest from inside the state house. Early proposals outline a form of government oversight that would manage a statewide network. Despite the early success of districts negotiating their own contracts, lawmakers see a vulnerability with giving them a blank check. There's a concern that maybe districts will, because it's not their money now, it's the state paying for it, that they will uh, obtain broadband that they don't really need. Proponents also say despite oversight issues, the IEN had benefits being a large scale program. So we saw there were communities that were able to expand services for everybody in the community, both at homes, in businesses, and in libraries, thanks to the state running fiber in to support the schools. But lessons have been learned, both in proper oversight and negotiating contracts on an individual basis. So the proposal restricts the state from using just one ISP. If you create a new network and you don't put the service provider in charge of it or give the service provider that kind of access, you can empower the state to negotiate best price. Still, concern over another statewide network flows heavy in the state house, and other plans are being discussed behind closed doors. Jake Melder, Today 6, on your side.